Hello Wash, today is the Gingerbread House Day, a day that can be celebrated in a wide variety of fun ways, and a day that kids in particular will really enjoy. Gingerbread House Day should be a social event and be used as something that gets kids and adults excited about the holiday season, gather friends or family to make a gingerbread house together, and then, later, the gingerbread house can be eaten as a special treat or at a party. Now that I'm craving a piece of gingerbread, lathered in frosting, gumdrops, and other candies, let's switch gears. Yes, we probably should get to the announcements. Let's start out with something you can do tonight. Head to Wendy's on JFK for dinner between 5 and 7 p.m. to support VPA's production of High School Musical. If you are more into sports than making gingerbread houses, consider stopping by the attendance office to pick up a flyer for Clark softball camp on December 18th for girls in grades 7 and 8, or you can sign up for dance there as well. Dance starts on January 3rd. And don't forget that you can still bring in non-perishable food items or personal hygiene items for the food drive, which is going on through Friday. Donating items for the food drive is a great way to display your wash values. Another way to show your wash values is by supporting the girls' basketball teams that are playing tonight. You can catch the 7th grade white team playing Roosevelt Silver at Roosevelt at 4 o'clock. Or you can support the girls' 8th grade white team as they play Roosevelt Purple at 4 at Washington. Emma, have you noticed that the winter weather has finally arrived? I sure did. Temperatures are really dropping during the overnights this week. You'll see temperatures below zero Wednesday and Thursday mornings. Be sure you are wearing a warm winter coat and gloves or mittens, as well as something over your ears. Walking in these cold temps can be dangerous if you don't bundle up. Sometimes, change in seasons or the holidays can bring added stress to students, teachers, parents, and families. If you find that you're experiencing some added stress, you'll want to listen closely to a special, special message we have from the 7th grade health students who explored the benefits of mindfulness meditation in school. Hello, we are here to promote using meditation here at Washington. Meditation can help with lots of problems like stress, depression, violence, and anger, and anxiety. For example, one school using regular meditation saw an improvement in students' test scores by 10% and signs of greater happiness. Meditation can also help reduce ADHD symptoms and lower the number of school suspension. Teachers participate in meditation stay teacher teaching longer and has stronger connection to students. Students who are struggling are encouraged to sit in a meditation room and go through breathing practices and meditate. Whether students are showing aggression, maybe being bullied, have problems at home or school, or find themselves frustrated, meditation helps them calm down and recenter. We are proposing to do two, five to ten minute periods of med fullness meditation each day, on and yell tea times, and Perfect opportunities to spend a few minutes getting refocused. We encourage that you try meditation along with your teacher because it will help keep you calm, attentive, and focused in class. Now that sounds like something worth trying. There are days that I leave the house at 7.20 for school and do not get home until till dinner or even after because of VPA, sports, or other activities. Taking a few minutes to just be quiet and still could really help me reset throughout a long day. I couldn't agree with you more. Well, it looks like we have another added feature to our broadcast. Check it out. Hello, Washington Wahawks. By the time you are watching this, I am no longer in your school as Friday was my last day here. I am graduating on Thursday, and I just want to say thank you to all of you for allowing me to be in your school. I think you are amazing students, and I had so much fun getting to know a lot of you. And I want to give a special shout out to Ms. Redfern, who allowed me to bombard her classroom for eight weeks. So I know as she's watching this, I am not in there anymore, but thank you, Ms. Redfern. I learned a lot from you. And I want to also say thank you to Amy Mozina, who is recording this right now for helping me get through my project-based learning project. That was a lot of fun and she really helped me. And thank you to the seventh graders who participated in that. I hope all of you at Washington continue to try to be the change you wish to see in the world. And remember, it can always start small even at your school. You guys are great. Thank you. I will miss you. And that's all. 
Aw, that was sweet. Thank you, Miss Mueller, for being a part of the WASH community. We'll miss you. Before we wrap up today, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's song of the day is none other than run. Run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Stay warm today, Wash.